Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Klungo. Let's begin this video. In today's video, we are going to talk about iShop. So I made a video about iShop. I was explaining how you can uh, create your account, how you can also like uh, get your your, uh, your details in place for your iShop account so that when you ship with uh, iShop you won't have any um, any difficulties when it comes to your shipping address or anything in between. So today I'm going to just like through talk again on the process of registering with iShop and also a little bit more on how you can make uh, it easier for you to not create an account with uh, information that is not valid. So I want to make it as clear as possible. And also I want to start another series of videos where I visit most of the shipping companies here in Zambia. So what I want to do is I want you to comment down below all the questions you have and all the inquiries you want to find out from these shipping companies and I will be doing an interview with them. So these interviews will be face to face with uh, the, the shipping companies like I'll visit Tigmo or iShop and then I'll ask them questions based on what you've uh, um, what will gather the questions and then we'll try to make videos out of them and um, get some more information on their shipping services. So before we, um, we go very far, let's jump into the computer and uh, we can um, start the process of um, creating an account. Okay, so when we go into our computer, we're going to type iShop because we are talking about iShop. So iShop Worldwide Zambia. Uh, so this, this um, iShop is in uh, other countries too. So um, iShop is one of my favorite um, shipping companies because I've been using them for quite a long time and um, I have been satisfied with their services. So this uh, disclaimer, this is not um, an ad or this is not a sponsored video. So this is just from my own personal experience with, um, with iShop. So as you can see here, iShop is becoming a uh, very uh, organized, very um, attractive because when you look at their website, I feel it's now catching up to um, websites like DHL and um, and um, FedEx. But uh, this one here is now becoming very, like, like you can see from the screen right now, it's very attractive and very well organized. So you can see, you can uh, register. You can um, hear it saying um, online shipping. So when you register, you have your addresses, then you can receive your parcel here in um, in Zambia, which is very true because I have um, shipped with an uh, iShop before. So we go straight to register. So you can see here on the top left, I don't know if it left light corner, um, there is the register um, tab. So here, customer registration. Here, what you do is that uh, you add in the information that your personal information, that is your contact number, your home address, you know, your emails, your um, your password for the um, for the website. But for me, this one I've already created. But for the sake of this video. I'm going to just learn you through the process of uh, registering with um, iShop. So on the first um, on the first column. So one thing you also need to uh, to pay attention to is uh, there are these stars, something like star on the title. There is this a uh, lead star. So what that means is that uh, box is very important. So you need to check in. You need to write something on them. And for those that don't have it means it's optional you can either leave it blank or you can write something on it so here on the title um here it's just your like are you male or female so if, for me it's mister 
and then my first name got it yeah so just be following what i'm doing last name then my email So this is my official email as well. You can uh, email me. And uh, yeah, so this is about my personal information as in uh, my names and my contact just for the first part. And then here is a, I'll put in password. Yeah. Okay. Then when we go to enter billing and uh, contact address, so this is now um, your home address, the address that they will, uh, it's either they will uh, ship, actually just your home address where they can ship your parcel to, if they have to, like to deliver it to you personally. So this is the billing, uh, cot, uh, billing address or um, contact, so here, just put in where you are, either you are in Lusaka, you are in Indola. So on the first line, put your area, of course. Then sec the second line, like uh, these are, those are specific areas in your, um, in your compound or in your township. Um, yeah, so which side? Because this, this one I'm typing now is not really important, so no wonder you can uh, put anything but it should just be in line with what you are talking about in the bidding country is zambia so you are creating your account based on zambia so don't put america or any other country so this is your information here in uh, in zambia so just fill in your mobile number and uh, line address number two, not very important. Town dollar, town in dollar, and um, postal code that's zero one zero one zero. Alternative number, I will leave that blank because I I prefer to put just the the line I'm using. And then here comes the other part where you need to be very careful. So, enter shipping details this is uh, details where the parcel will be delivered to so here is where you need to be important to be very um, cautious because if you are in let's say in Indola then here because you want to put something else you put Lusaka or Kitwe that's where your parcel will be delivered to so you need to make sure that your information is correct here like I was putting on the first uh, line so I will just click this one here to match the information from the first uh, couple of boxes I was filling in. So when I press here, you can see it will automatically uh, fill in my names. Then here, delivery country. So as you can see, it's in Angola, this country, I don't know, Ghana, Kenya, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. So for me, I'll select Zambia. And then delivery town, this is where now even after you've created, then you, you've changed town, you can just come here and uh, select to which uh, type of, uh, to which uh, part of Zambia you've uh, shifted to. If you're in Kitwe, you've shifted, you are now in Lusaka, you can click on Lusaka. And uh, if you're in Monze, you want to go to Mkoshi, or if you have shifted where the location is not, or if you are in a town where the, your location is not listed here you can always find the nearest town for you to go and collect uh, your parcel so for me i'm in indora i will click here and the rest of the information is just as i um added on my first line because i feel there's no need to type in again and then here referred from uh so if you saw it from me you can say if you saw it on the internet, you can say uh, on YouTube, you can say other internet searches or Google search or probably maybe family or friend. This is more um, acceptable. Yeah, so when you've done this, it means you have now um, entered the, um, 
the all the all the details and uh, you can double check to see if they are okay then uh, the other thing you need to pay attention to is this email because your email is the same email they will use to uh, to in inform you or to inform you how your parcel is uh, moving you have to make sure that the email you've typed in is very correct and is your personal email the one you are using so that uh, in case your parcel um, has reached town and uh, you've not entered this, you will not be notified. Yeah, so after this, you just click to terms, and con uh, terms of service and privacy policy, then you submit. So for me, I already have this account. I'll just show you now, after you've created, you will now have to log in. Yeah, so when you log in, there is quite a very simple thing that you need to pay attention to, and that is your ID number, your identification number, because, of course, this is um, an online website, so probably there would be many, many people with your same, like your same names, pro yeah, so what iShop does is they'll give you the unique number that you will, you will be able to identify yourself with so for me when i go to delivery addresses and uh, you can see i have my own addresses for uk usa for south africa for south africa lord or for china uh, europe and portugal so you can see that i have this ml10 this is my unique number so everyone has got this his own unique number when uh, you 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 trying to buy something so when you buy make sure that when filling in the details on your account whether on ebay on amazon or anything else you have to copy this whole thing and put them in your name section so that when the seller has has um, gotten your payment everything is in place when they try to ship they will include that unique number and from that unique number they will be able to identify that it, this parcel belongs to you and it's heading for your destination whether it's in Indola or it's in, in other towns so that's why this um, unique number is very important so when you do that uh, yeah, so as far as having an account with a Tigmo app with iShop, this is where we can say we have now successfully created an account. And um, as you can see from here, these are my orders. So I have shipped with Tigmo for, oh, sorry, with iShop with um, all these parcels. And I can say they have been delivered to me. I have them. I received them within this, uh, the estimated time, so I can say um, I'm well pleased with um, iShop and their services. So, guys, as I mentioned earlier, I'll just like talk through through the registering process. I also talk about how you can add the same shipping addresses to your uh, online stores, of which I have done some, but I feel we can also do some more. Um, yeah and um, for this video it's done you can don't forget to comment to like and share and subscribe to this channel and also comment down below whatever you feel I need to help you with and the other thing is you can also join our whatsapp group the link will be in the description below where we talk about these things in detail yeah okay see you next time bye bye